hey guys and welcome 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 back to my channel <laughs> back again with another video and as you can see from the title of the video and this kind of setup as well we're doing some kind of review or some kind of unboxing so that's what we are doing today and it's not just any unboxing it is a luxury unboxing i don't want to say too much about how excited i am because ciao you guys will see how excited i am once we get into everything so let's not waste any time uh please do hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel and of course comment down below if this is an item that you already have or you want or what questions you might have that i haven't um touched on in this particular video so so yeah hit me up in the comment section and please do like this video if the, if anything if anything please just like the video and the rest is history another luxury unboxing i absolutely love these i absolutely love doing unboxings well not really luxury but just like any kind of hauls unboxings reviews i kind of really enjoy that kind of content and i hope you guys enjoy it too in this particular review i want to sort of like take you guys through the experience basically i'm obviously gonna unbox show you guys the item but i also want to share a bit of my shopping experience and just like my tips on uh my tips for anyone who is interested in buying this particular item i want to also tell you guys the full shopping experience so okay i won't really there's not really much to share literally i went to cape town recently there will be a vlog for that do not worry um it'll probably come after this video but yeah um i was in cape town and you know you need to buy something okay i'm lying i can't figure it out honestly gift for me but um i went i headed to um the vna the vna um waterfront is that what you call it vna waterfront yeah i went there and they have a diamond walk there right i'm not sure if they call it a diamond walk there as well but like you know the section in the mall where it's like where there's like gucci lv uh armani you know like designer stores essentially so i headed over there checked everything out and i do want to say there's quite a difference in the in, in just the treatment and the service that you get in cape town versus what you get here in johannesburg santon okay i'm just i just want to say this in case i might have had like a completely far-fetched experience and everyone else basically does not share the same sentiments but i'm just putting it out there in and also in the event that you are someone who might go to cape town at any point and you want to go you know luxury shopping at least you know what to expect don't be shocked like me <laughs> So I headed over to um, LV and Gucci, but I had I had already had my heart set in this particular item. Like I knew I wanted this. Like I knew that I wanted this. And the thing with me, I think I've shared this in all of like my luxury hauls and like my buys and stuff like that. I like to plan the things that I want before actually getting them. I just want to have an idea of okay, this is what I want, so that when it does come. Although there are some things that I have that are like out of compulse but most of the time especially when it comes to big purchases there's had there's been a conversation or a thought about it like i really want this so this is definitely something that i have been urging for years guys if there's one thing about this item it has been a hot topic for years i got to uh gucci and you just walk in and i know this might sound weird but like there's no cues maybe maybe when it's like peak hours or you know that time in the month where people have money but honestly you can go to santon on a thursday and you will still find a line or a queue at gucci or lv especially lv so it was surprising for me to get there and there's literally no one in the store okay well not not no one but that was shocking for me to experience but i walked in fine and that's another thing like you literally walk in you're not um there are no sales people I don't know if that's weird <laughs> because judging from the experience that i've um not really gotten used to but like what i've experienced here in johannesburg is that when you go into these stores like 
we are nana someone you know about they ask you do you need anything what you know some even go as far as like offering you a drink oh you know like you just get the full luxury experience and i'm not gonna lie like in cape town it was like i had just gotten into no shade but like i love mr price but like it, had, it felt like i had just gotten into mr price where i'm just gonna say hey can i get this in a size five and then the person will say okay then they'll bring the size five because there's literally they don't care it's either it's either luxury is such a bypass there like it's not something that's a big deal because in Joburg, Joburg is very classy. Joburg takes luxury items and designers and money very seriously. Like it's very, it's a very classist city, and I think Cape Town isn't really like that. Or maybe the kind of luxury there is not really focused on like designer and stuff like that. You guys will comment down below and you'll tell me if this is real or not. But like you don't really get princess treatment when you go to Diamond Walk there unless. Um, you demand it, you know, I think because if I had asked, you know, someone like, oh, can I have something to drink? Or do you guys have anything that you offer complimentary to people who are going to buy? And then they would, you know, do the whole shebang. But like even the sales guy who was assisting me was busy with someone else. Like I would be standing there waiting for him to finish talking to another customer. And the, the store is empty. Like the store is empty. Like there's no one there. It's not busy. But I had to wait for him to finish talking to someone else. And then at some point he'd be like, oh yeah, okay, I'm going to get back to you. Like it, it was all kind of weird because I know in Santon, you go there, they are on you. Like your sales lady or, or, or salesman is like right behind you, making sure that you're good. Do you need something to drink? Do you want to try things on? Like I think, yeah, there, even if I wanted to try something, uh, it was very tricky. I literally went and bought this shoe and I walked out because I was it just wasn't giving It wasn't giving luxury. It wasn't giving. I'm about to blow a bag <laughs> Okay, scratch that but you get what I mean like you get what I mean You think that going into luxury stores you're gonna get like a different kind of exclusive treatment I think I think that's the whole culture behind it. I'm not to say like it's really a priority for me but that's the culture behind it. So you do expect that kind of treatment. But I guess Cape Town is completely different and they don't care about you. If you're buying a Gucci, they don't care. Here she is. Hi, Hi guys. I'm sure I've written this in the in the um, in the title that it is the Gigi. Uh is the Gucci Mamont Thong Sandal. Before we even start opening, you guys know this shoe because it has been a hot topic for years. I know girls who've been rocking this shoe for at least a good four or five years. Like they've been, you know, on, they've been on it. But I feel like this is such a classic. I just had to get it. Even though there were very different kinds of sandals there or shoes in general, I just was like, I need this. This is like a staple. This is an item that is a, you could say entry level luxury um, item, but yeah, guys, let's unbox. You get the regular um, green paper bag that you get from Gucci. I wonder if they'll ever change this packaging. Wasn't this like a, a holiday packaging? Or is this like their thing thing? I don't know. Comment down below, guys, if you know. But get the green packaging. It did come with the beautiful ribbon tied to it, but child, as soon as I got <laughs> Back to my accommodation. I ripped it off because I was like so 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 excited. Oh So excited. I think you guys know how much I love my um, Never fall and how excited I was to get um, That because it was such a planned purchase that I've been wanting for years. I can definitely say I feel kind of the same with this um, Shoe as well. Like I've been excited about this for years we're opening the box the packaging is not going to look as scrumptious as it did when i initially opened it guys because as i said i ripped it apart upon arrival so it's packed nicely in there as you can see you get your each each shoe is in um, a dust bag which is absolutely perfect honestly for someone who travels very often so, you know guys with leather and luxury items what i've come to realize especially with my other bag these items in as much as they're great quality they're expensive they're luxurious but like they require a lot of maintenance one thing i can say for instance my my never fall 
it it lumps if you don't position it like you need to stuff it with things inside just to keep that same structure and i think with these sandals as well if you want to maintain the structure and the, this beauty you need to you need to maintain it you need to package it properly you need to put it away properly you can't just throw it in every in everywhere and anywhere because you are going to lose the shape basically like you're going to lose the shape and that's why i always worry with my never fall because it just be hanging sometimes and i'm like girl so i have to stuff it with things inside that's why some people buy organizers to put you know inside the bag so that the bag maintains its shape so with these shoes as well i think if you are traveling or if you want to package them just make sure that you always put them in the dust bag i'm gonna take one shoe out okay 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 guys i'm so excited it's like it's the first time i have worn these i'm just putting it out there i have worn these i was still in cape town the first day that i got them i think i wore them out the next day so they're still quite new but they have been worn out they have touched the ground okay so as you can see it comes with this little what do they what do they call this but like some stuffing it has some stuffing and this is exactly what i'm talking about in the sense that whenever i'm putting this away i'm going to put in the stuffing because i don't want it to lose its shape i don't want it to to you know start looking shapeless or weird like that but this is essentially the shoe you guys oh This is the beautiful Gucci GG leather thong sandal. This is it's quite a mouthful, but yeah, essentially you have the Momont, GG Momont um, design over there, and it is a leather thong sandal. So this is a beauty, guys. Like I said, it is a staple. A lot of girls have been wearing this sandal for years now. But that's the thing with designer items, you guys. Like they never really get old you know honestly like they never really get old the mere fact that this shoe is a hot topic till this day when it was already a big deal back then because when i posted this shoe i posted this shoe on my twitter when i tell you so many girls was about wearing and i was like i get that hun because every time i saw this shoe it would haunt me i'd be like oh, one, day. one day is one day and it's been years it has been years that i've been wanting this shoe and i'm so glad to finally have it um let me show you guys the back it has um the gucci made in italy thingy over there in the box we have the other shoe of course since i've already shown you the other one even though i'm going to take it out again um you have the other shoe and just a bit of stuffing as well i think you get this with like i don't know like information about gucci and yeah this is essentially it that's all that's in um the box uh, i'm gonna open the second shoe so you guys can see the girls side by side in full view these are absolutely stunning you can wear them with anything you can wear them down you can dress them up you can wear them on a on a on a, on a summer lunch with the girls you can style these guys in literally any way that you you know you want um they did come in white as well but i was like and i felt like getting black is gonna make me much happier because at the end of the day this is the classic shoe that i've been wanting for years and i wanted it in black so i was like no 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 let me not even argue that let me get this in black so as you can see i got it in black one other tip that i can definitely tell you guys um because i've i've done i've done a, i've done a bit of research okay i've done a bit of research like i said i always do research with my purchases so i did a bit of you know chitty chatting um especially with people on my instagram like on my close friends or, or anything like that people who i know you know um have luxury items and and, and like to buy these type of things i think i had posted this pic a picture of these sandals and a lot of them were like oh they're so uncomfortable they're so uncomfortable but you know what this is it's not even intentional because when i got there i told them i'm a size five and they gave me a four and a half this is a four and a half a 37 and a half okay and i'm a size five i think that's the trick my friends buy a, a size down if you want these sandals to be comfortable 
size down i think that the, the, one of the tricky parts with comfort is always like this belt area and this one it might start scrunching if there's too much friction and space going on whereas if you size down everything fits like a glove because that's exactly how these shoes are for me and my cousin wore them out when we um ha when we had lunch and i could see hers are uh, are bigger and as you wear them out and like i said guys this type of leather these luxury items and their leather it wears off and it becomes very um, flimsy so if you want to maintain the shape and the size size down and the comfort because i have absolutely no issues my cousin and i literally even agreed on this that okay you know maybe the trick is to always size down i am not gonna say um do this with every item honestly at the end of the day you need to try these these shoes on i had an experience where i bought a pair of sneakers um at michael kors a few years ago i think last year and they gave me a size four i love those shoes so much but they're so painful so painful so at the end of the day when you are at the store or any other regular store they will make you pay they want you to buy the shoe they don't care about your comfort they don't care about whether or not it fits you they want to make the sale so always also be careful of that because i knew when this guy recommend when this guy suggested i get a four and a half i was really looking at him like what but when i try it on which is where my point is always try these shoes on so you can be 110 percent sure before you buy them so yeah this is just my tip size down if you're buying these sandals i'm not sure about any other shoe from any other designer store what i can say is that with these size down honey. last thing but not least is the receipt i know this is usually quite a sensitive subject because not because not because it's money but usually people are like we want to see the receipt because you know they, these days counterfeit uh or dupe luxury items are a thing like these days everyone and anyone wears dupes sometimes guys like it's really not a, a big deal to me to me it's not a big deal especially if you are someone who can afford to buy luxury items especially if, even if it's a small things but if you can and you switch it up with some dupes i don't see where the problem is in my opinion but i know a lot of people will be like oh where's your receipt so here's the receipt i will tell you guys the price um because at the end of the day this is a plug for somebody else and someone who does want to buy the shoe a lot of the time i remember when i was younger and still wanting these things i used to crack my skull trying to figure out how much they were because when you go on to google especially with like lv and other stores you don't actually see the price so um it was always nice to watch a luxury uh, unboxing and actually hear how much these things are in case you want to manifest or we want to budget or something so that's why i don't think for me sharing the price is a big deal now but yeah anyway the shoe was i have a theory that the shoe might be cheaper in johannesburg than it is in cape town i have a theory i have a theory or it might have been mocked up okay between the spaces that i've tried I've, I've i've gone to santon and cape town this shoe in santon when i was there i think a month ago was nine thousand rand and at the waterfront it was nine thousand seven hundred rand and honey i would have taken that 700 grand and done something else with it but today i was already um there so and i really wanted the shoe so i was like ah okay it's fine 700 700 grand is a lot of money but like i really wanted the shoe and and the opportunity had presented itself so it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay but yeah guys um that is pretty much it i can't i didn't even expect this video to be long so but i really wanted to sort of like share the entire experience with you guys i hope you guys love this video and i hope you guys also want this shoe or have heard something about it let me know in the comment section what you guys think is this a great purchase or is this like a beginner friendly um or entry level luxury item to have if you are still building your you know luxury item collection let me know in the comment section but for now i am wrapping it up i will see you guys in my next video don't forget once again to like comment and subscribe i love you guys so much bye